The number one and two player in the entire world in Clash Royale currently using Giant Pump Control. Giant Pump is absolutely one of the best strategies out there in today's Clash Royale. We're going to use this deck again and this is going to be also my main deck for this Clash Royale season. In case you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe and also make sure to use Creator Good Mod in the shop. And I would say we go and dive into the games. Let's go. First game here was Polaris. And to be fair, this deck, it's not incredibly hard to play, but it's also at the same time not incredibly easy to play. You kind of just need to figure out what is the strength of the deck, and it's basically Pump Spam. Pump Spam is the biggest the biggest strength of the deck, bro. You're just going to spam pumps, and you want to go aggressive with your Night Witches, bro. And especially early on, I feel like going like with giant Night Witches early on is really effective, especially sometimes I'm just building up a giant push in the back really early in single leaks in the time, then play my Night Witch when I know when I play against Poison, and then while I'm pushing, I'm just going to pump up because then I need to decide, okay, do I go just Poison Defense, or do I spend a ton of elixir on Defense, or do I Poison the Pump? And most of the time, they need to Poison the Night Witch to make sure to defend this. And this is the time... Where are we gonna get the value in? So I'm just gonna go for my Phoenix in. This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? So I'm just gonna push immediately, really aggressive. And he kinda needs to poison this. He needs to poison this, and he still has to defend this, right? He still has to defend this. And this means it's time to be aggressive. It's time to go for Collector. I know he's like almost at zero elixir. And we're gonna be able to get some decent amount of trip, like 300 damage around about. And now I have the Night Witch on the board. And this is, I mean, not the Night Witch, the pump on the board. And this is like how most of the games go. I go pump. I chill and then I just basically just kill them bro like by this type of push because it's so so tough for them to defend them um, like when I have like the elixir advantage. Let's go Night Witch there. He might have evolution or he might go to an evolution bomber. But I guess he's not gonna go there because he knows I will giant. Also good thing is the Night Witch bats are gonna tank kind of the aggro of the tower. And now I'm just gonna wait here until he might go in. Okay I think I'm just gonna go for my zap there. And also, of course, the range buff really helps if the other tower is not targeting anything. No, I'm just gonna go and for my boy there. He needs to go for this, which is completely fine. I'm just gonna go for another collector there. Okay, unfortunately, this bomber doesn't die, but it's okay. He can't really go drill because he has to go drill left and then go poison right, but it's not gonna work out. So he has to go poison, which is completely fine. And I think I'm just gonna go for my Night Witch there. And now I'm just gonna go giant. And I'm just gonna go set up a little Prince Orbis Lane just for the free card sack. And now it's time to spam another uh, Phoenix in, most likely. At least that's what I feel like is the plus play. And then I'm just gonna go Collector. This is what I'm saying, right? He needs to poison defense. This is a free Collector. And we're gonna be able to do a good job. I'm just gonna go for my Zap there. I'm also gonna go Ability Orbis Lane. Because I feel like the Ability is still gonna do something. And I'm also gonna go for another Night Witch just to kind of pressure him a bit. Because he has to defend. I'm just gonna go also for a Giant because the Act might respawn. Okay, the egg is not gonna use when he goes in for the lock there though. I'm just gonna go for my bomber. Using another Phoenix here, and we're just gonna keep up the pressure. It's basically a bridge spam deck. Using a Zap to also cycling back to another evolution zap. He's gonna go for this. But I feel like the bomber just might immediately die there. Really, really good. We're just gonna go for another night, which it's basically a bridge spam combination now. Phoenix is gonna come down. I mean, like uh, uh, Phoenix is gonna be on tower. Little Prince is gonna come down. And I could basically use the ability in case I wanted to, but I'm just gonna go for another collector. And so far, he wasn't able to play any drills. So I'm just gonna go for this. I'm just gonna go for my giant there. And this is really, really good. So I'm just gonna go for my Phoenix. Okay, I want to play a tornado. I mean, not a tornado, uh, how's it called? Um, arrows. But I can just go for another Night Witch there anyway. And let's see if he said to poison this. He is gonna poison that. So I'm just kinda wanna go pump in the middle once again. And bro, this is like how you play this deck, bro. It's so stupid. The control is absolutely amazing. This is like why everybody's currently using this deck. And also, people, I would say. Without uh, meaning it like in a really bad way. A few players, they're not really that great. I really high off this deck. I think I can say this. I'm just gonna go for my Nightwitch there. Also, my little prince stays alive. I'm just gonna go for my Phoenix. I'm using my ability now. I'm just gonna go for Arrows there also because I just wanna make sure it's gonna die. And still, look at this tower, bro. This tower isn't gonna do shit. So I can just go for another giant there because he has to go poison now. Poison will come down late. So the giant's gonna be there. Knight is not gonna walk, which of course is massive for us. I'm just gonna go for my evolution zap there. Evolution zap is gonna be on tower. Gonna kill the Phoenix also. I mean, the, 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 uh, how's it called? The bomber. So much stuff going on. Just gonna go for a bomber. Going for a giant once again. And now it's time to go for my Night Witch. Night Witch is gonna be able to get it. And let's see, he goes in for this, Phoenix again. And I don't know, the thing is like, even if we might not break through, we just still put enough pressure on him that he has to defend and he can't go in. It's just time to go for another giant here. Bomber's gonna kill 
that. I'm using another uh, Night Witch here because I know he's really, really low and also he doesn't have Poison Hand. He doesn't have Log also in hand, so it would be really hard for him to stop this. I'm just gonna go for my Zap there. My, our Phoenix Egg might survive. I'm using now my ability there. Also killing the Skeletons, bro. He still has to get damage. He still has to get damage on towers. So we're using another Night Witch there. And the spam is just absolutely brain dead. Absolutely incredible. He goes now in. I can just bomber this. This is basically a deck, bro. Spam, 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 pump, pump, pump. Spam, spam, spam. Oh, yeah. Oh, play brother. Game number two against Pompeo. And I honestly love Pompa, bro. He's such a nice, nice guy. I, I think I'm just gonna give him good luck. I'm just gonna give him good luck. Um, he plays normally Balloon Cycle, which is a really good matchup, bro. I got I got I got a Night Witch, which he can't really kill. He got we got um Little Prince, we got Zap, we got like um Phoenix, and also of course Elixir Palm. I mean Elixir Palm, to be fair, it's like decent against him. Not absolutely incredible broken. But it's crazy. So, like, this is a really clean defense because he's just gonna use his... Okay. Maybe I should have arrowed that. Maybe not. Oh, I think I should have arrowed that. I think I was okay like I did that. So, he doesn't have Miner. He doesn't have Pump. So, I feel like we already got good situation. And also, don't underestimate Evolution Bomber, bro. This guy got Knight. This guy got Evolution Knight. And you guys know how good Bomber is against Knight. And also, he doesn't have arrows by Baron Bell to clean this up. Awesome. Giant in the back. Good. Giant in the back. So do I go now Nightwitch in the back? Oh, what am I gonna do? Nightwitch in the back like this? Hmm. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do next up? Do I just go arrows there to kill the cage? So the cage is not gonna help there. I think this is smart. Okay, I'm just gonna go zap now. Really good zap timing. So he still has to defend this with a zap at least. Oh, he has to spend Evolution Zap. This is even better, bro. Wasting an Evolution Zap on top of this is something you don't really want to want. Which you don't want as a Balloon player. I'm just going to go for another pump there. Okay, so if he decides to go like Night Balloon Miner, I'm just going to go block the bridge with my Night Bridge. I like the my Night... I block the bridge... I block the Night at the bridge. <laughs> okay, let's go Night Bridge there. Okay, is he going to go Night now? Mm. Yes, he is. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my zap there though. Yeah, now the thing is like the, the zap was really nice, but now he got like a free eye drag, which is annoying. The good thing is the Phoenix X still stays on the right hand side, so he can't really punish me. He just goes in for a giant, I mean for a fireball, which is a plus one elixir trade, as we all know, guys. I hope you guys know it, otherwise. You don't really watch a ton of Martin Royale videos. So giant, once again in the back, slow roll, night witch. Little Prince opposite. Time for a double lane push, brother. Phoenix high. Bomber like this. And Night Witch Giant number two. <laughs> and this guy is gonna have a ton of fun now. Do I get the ability out? Yes, I do. Just go Bomber now. And this will be really hard defense. I think he can defend this. But it will be hard. We're still getting some damage. Some is a big word, by the way. This is like a ton of damage. I didn't expect to get that much damage, bro. This tower sucks. This tower sucks. And now we just go in again for another pump. If I would be Pompeo, I most likely would rage crit right now, bro. I would be so mad at this game. This is something you don't really want to see. So, Nightwitch now. Hmm. And I love going for my little prince opposite lane. Just have a free cut cycle, bro. I just have the free cut cycle. He has to go balloon same lane, which is nothing you really want to do. I um, need to go for another Night Witch there, though. This might be a shot. Yeah, it's actually gonna be shot. Do I get the ability out? No, I don't. But I can just go for a Giant there. I'm also gonna can go for a Phoenix there. Where am I at the bridge? He still has to defend this, so how is he gonna stop this? I'm just gonna wait here. 3, 2, 1, Evolution Zap. Okay, to be fair, I didn't really play as well. I was kinda lucky at the end, but yeah, there's nothing I can do, especially with the pump on the map, bro. Balloon players, I feel sorry. Going to the game here versus Aaron Jaeger. So I might just go. I honestly, I don't give a shit, bro. Giant first play, Night Witch behind this, and all good. All good, hopefully. Oh no, bad starting hand. Why you got pump, bro? Giant. This is gonna be. Um. Okay, Phoenix. So, oh, I thought it's gonna be no, it's not gonna be. Okay. I thought it's gonna be like Pump Bro with Knight, but it's gonna be Golem. Hmm, Golem Electro Dragon might be hard. So, 
We need to play our absolutely hardest and best Clash Royale. This is a really good zap, by the way. Psych to Evolution zap and also getting like good Phoenix chip. Is the egg gonna respawn? I think it's actually gonna respawn, bro. Ho <laughs> ho! This is so unbalanced! Broken. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go for arrows there. And then I'm just gonna go bomber. Oh, I would have loved, like, it's a bit unlucky that we don't have pump yet. He would be so, so good. Okay, I'm just gonna go giant, same lane, I guess. I think this is always what, like, they sh what you should do with this deck. Going gi same lane as the golem, even if it's, like, normally you could kind of think it's a bad play. But I guess what you have to do, and then you have to go, like, little prince low. And then you need to kind of wait for a tornado and then go phoenix on top of the electro dragon. This has to be the defense. Even it will be rough, right? It will be rough. Just gonna go arrows. Okay. So I'm just gonna chill there. <laughs> it was the worst ability I've ever seen in my life. But I'm not gonna be surprised because he's a golem player. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for my giant there. It's a really aggressive giant, but his llama jack is out, so he only got skelly D's. I'm also gonna go for Zap there so my Axe survives. I mean, it would be cool if Arrow Zap would kill that, but actually, he can't defend this anyway, bro. He can't defend this anyway because he just used a NATO on uh, offense. So he's always saying good game, bro. This might be good game. This might be Joe, but he still has to defend his little prince. Or oh, else if Electro Dang gonna chain? No, it's not. Electro Dang isn't gonna do the stuff he wants to. But I guess it's okay. So what I'm gonna do there is just gonna go Giant High. Just to kind of protect this. Protect this. Now I'm just gonna go for my Evolution Bomber there to splash everything. Really good Evolution Bomber. The giant tanks everything. He has to go Golem again at the bridge. But this Golem won't be good. I can just go for my little Prince there. I just hope he's gonna go in there. I'm just gonna go Arrows. I'm also gonna go like Electro Zap. Electro Zap. Electro Zap! No card leaked in Clash Royale! But this is a really good game. GG's well played. Nothing you can do. Normally Golem can be really tough. But you guys saw what you want to do. We want to go pump, and we want to cycle back to another stuff. You want to go like giant as a counter push, whatever you have, right? If you know what the opponent has in cycle, and then, yeah, it's a really easy dub, bro. The one defense was of course really important, bro. Seeing Aquap on top ladder, what happened? Bro? <laughs> Are we like in 2018? No, but I love Aquap. He's to go. By the way, guys, are you playing Brawl Stars currently in Clash Royale? Are you playing Brawl Stars in Clash Royale? Are you playing Brawl Stars at all? Do you guys play more than Clash Royale? Do you play play like next to Clash Royale, or are you just playing whatever game you're playing currently? Um, let me know in the comment section, actually, guys. Really, let me know in the comment section. Um, was it game number four? I'm not so sure, like, bro, like, my brain isn't working. It's currently um, 7 a.m. And, yeah, I was just, like, I'm just grinding, bro. I am just really, really grinding a lot. Um, and I enjoy playing Clash Royale and Brawl Stars. I, I, I played, like, 10 hours of Brawl Stars today. I played 10 hours of Brawl Stars today. I was, like, grinding mad. And, yeah, I, I really want to do a video on that. So let me know in the comment section if you're playing Brawl Stars currently. So, Lava Hound. Hmm. Kind of familiar with this deck. Just gonna go Nightbridge here. Oh, that's a good bomber. Why does he have bats, bro? Why you have bats? Why you got bats? Why you got bats, bro? Why you have bats? Hmm. This is not really, really nice. But it's okay, I guess. I'm just gonna go for a collector here in the middle. To pump up, he goes in for a lava. I don't know. AC is the lava goat. No, like he's currently casting Clash Royale League. Man, I love him. I hope I will be able to go to the World Finals, um, hopefully as a player, to meet him again and get some nice drinks in. So I might just go uh, for my Phoenix there. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And it's time to just go for my Evolution Zap. And also for Arrows, which is completely fine because we just take one shot. And then I might just go Bomber there at the bridge. And I'm just gonna go Collector again. It's a really smart bomber because look at the bomber, bro. Look at the bomber. Gets like two shots on it. No, one shot. Okay, I, thought, I was thinking two. I'm just gonna little Prince there now. Um, Phoenix. Zap. Arrows. And he might have a problem really soon. Because what am I gonna do now is pretty smart. I'm just gonna go set up my next push. And... I hope his bomber dies. Let's go. And now he's gonna have a problem because his tower isn't charged. I can just go now soon for my zap. Zap is gonna come down. Really good zap. He's low on elixir. I can just go for arrows now on top of all of these stuff. Arrows are gonna come down. His bomber isn't gonna do shit. Okay, to be fair, his evolution bats, which are pretty good in this type of situation. But 
Do we think he's like playing it really, really well? I'm just gonna go try. The thing is, like, he can't go just for Nanky Balloon at the bridge because I have a tower and also I got Phoenix. So I don't know, like, how is he gonna be able to break through and hit this push again? So let's go Phoenix there. Just gonna go for my evolution zap. Just gonna go uh, arrows. Really good arrows. And I think this is Jova. Good game. Good game, my man. Yeah, this is over. GG's for applied. I hope you guys enjoyed today's slash real video. Make sure to subscribe to the in case you guys don't want to miss any videos just like in the future. Let me know if you're playing Brawl Stars. And of course, use Critical Martin in the shop.